Welcome, bunny. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is Monday. It's Monday. We got the Molly. We got the Ruby. We had a bunny. Today is vet day. Today is vet day because one of our horses needs a booster. A booster is like a refresher of a, of a oh. vaccine they've already got. Where's Dad? Dad went to get me money because it's vet day. So I had to send him to the bank. Every morning we've been letting the little kittens out, opening up their stall, letting them get used to the dogs. Hey, Ruby. Letting the dogs get used to them. Molly's better with them than Root Molly. Molly gentle. gentle. Ruby. Molly's Molly better down. with them than Ruby. Ruby is a crazy down. dog. Down. She loves cats so much. Hey. Molly Ruby. down. Ruby lay down. Ruby. Gentle. But the cats need to get socialized to dogs because the truth of the matter is we have dogs and if I want them to stay on this farm, Ruby. then I need Ruby. them to be friends. Ruby! Don't bully the poor kitty. It is already 80 degrees. 80 degrees at the crack of dawn. Yep, that's what it is. Kind of like a heat wave going on again. Have you guys noticed though that I've not been complaining about the heat? Like, I have not been complaining about the weather at all. Not because I'm trying not to complain about the weather, but because the weather's been pretty nice, pretty decent. So basically how our vet works is that we book the appointment and we get put on the agenda for the day. So today's the, only, the first day that we could get. If any emergencies pop up, then we get pushed down the line. So the only way, the only thing we know is that it is vet day. We don't know what time they're going to come. Typically, the receptionist calls us five minutes before our vet gets here and says, your vet is on the way. Uh, last time she forgot and our vet was here before we knew it. So we ended up spending like a ton of time in the barn waiting for our vet. Today, Gabby's going to ride Chino because she hasn't ridden him in a few days and the dude needs to get ridden. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know if the vet doesn't come till noon. You have to ride Chino early this morning before it gets too hot. Ah, off, oh, off. Oh. You all know that Mr. Chino be feeling the heat. He does not love well, the I heat. Gentle already. I know she's the smartest dog we ever had, huh? Ah, gentle. Don't like it when she chases them. Either. They probably don't like it either. But the kittens are doing really well with the puppies. Good girl. Okay, so we're still in the barn waiting oh for the vet. Got Mr. Chino Bambino here. We got the puppies. We got the crickets. We got the cats locked in. We don't have any more crickets. Oh, we don't have any more crickets? The cricket just died? Yeah, it's in Molly's room. Molly ate the cricket? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm just scrolling because you know when I'm waiting for Gabby to tack up Chino, I'll be scrolling. I came across an edit by day by day underscore fan underscore edit. It was about Stella the legend. And then I started thinking like, this is something I've been thinking for a long time and I wanted to share with you guys, but I hate spending half my vlog talking, so I'm gonna do it really fast. Um, that I always believe that there's a reason for every single thing that happens and I knew as soon as she died that there was a reason for her death and I just needed time to process it and think about it. And this is what I think. I think the reason that Stella died is because Stella's life was meant to teach people about love. Like when we got her, there was so much conflict. So many people were like, you should never have got her. And then we all fell off of her. And everybody's like, I Stella, Stella. Stella's terrible. Yeah, Gabby didn't fall off first. Okay. You guys are not good enough for her. She hates you all. Like people were like so adamant. There was like so much controversy. You guys know, you were through it. We went through this thing with a, with a podcast where this woman expert rehabilitator, horse rehabilitator, she went through, we all sent in like if we thought, if we thought that we should sell her or keep her, blah, blah, blah. Like it was a whole debate. And in the end, Stella came to be the best horse. She came around and love changed her life. And I think Stella's life brought so many people together in love and she taught the world such a massive lesson. And I think that that's why she died. I think when she died, we all came together. Stella's life with, with us came full circle. I think that's why she died. Like, I honestly believe there's a reason for every single thing. And I think that's why she died. And she is a legend. And she taught us all so much. So there. That's it. Okay, what? How long have we had Chino for? We have had Chino since January. So February, March, April, May, June, July. Almost August. Almost seven months. I've never fallen off the roof yet. Oh, gosh. Why would you say that? Knock on wood. All right, Sophie's over here holding up so, her hand. Um, go check out my TikTok account, Sophie and Finn. Yeah, Sophie Finn does. 
So Finn and Sophie does all her own TikToks constantly. She just makes TikToks all day long, huh? Mm -hmm. She knows checking out the tire jumps. He's like right on the ground because he knows. Oh my god. Okay, it's okay. My owner's here. I can hide behind her. Yeah, I know, and he does hide, hide behind, behind you. So I don't know if I told you guys. Uh, Chino got pads on his feet that's helping with the um, with the bruising. So I also don't know if I updated you about the bruising. Those pads. Yeah, these this pads. This is he's getting... the stuff that sticks it on. Yeah, he's getting leather pads next time. He's only ever been mildly lame, but he's even less lame now with the pads. So he, ever mildly lame? he might be better. He might be completely oh. better now. Though I have so much to learn. So like this year's been such a turning point for me. I don't know what it is, but I helped put the jump step up at the show and before I it would have been all Chinese to me. Gabby just asked me to put all these jumps down and she said this one to this and this one to this and I knew how to do all of them. Like I I I take care of all of our horses on my own now. He's smelling them. He's like, what is that? It's flowers. Sun faded flowers. The grass is sun faded more than the flowers. He's smelling them. Because he thinks it's food. <laughs> he thinks it's food. You're gonna have food. Anyway, so Gabby's hoping to do a little bit of jumping on Chino. We're gonna, she's gonna see how he goes, and if he's going really well, then she's gonna do a tiny bit of jumping. Gabby has some fun stuff that she's doing with Chino in August that he has to be ready for. I don't want to tell you guys what it is yet because I want it to be a surprise. There we go. Um, one of our horses is in heat, and one of our horses thinks that she's a, she's a stallion. I wondered what was going on, but the last few days, there's been like a lot of squealing and a lot of stuff going on. I've never seen that happen before, though. This is our still trotting Lominek. This is our starting trotting Lamanek. Is that because you don't round him until he gets nice and warmed up? <laughs> I do not understand this at all. We are an equal opportunity farm. Who you love is who you love, so don't judge you guys. It's just the weirdest thing. And she bites her. She's acting like a stallion. Ever since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanted to take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level. Cause I wanted that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I They have never done this before. Usually with dogs, it's to show dominance. So if that's the same with horses, that would mean that Willow's trying to show her dominance over Gracie. Or she thinks she's, or she's showing that she really loves her. Anyways, we always take a really long time of warming up before we collect our horses because it's really good for their necks. And really good for their backs. Letting them stretch out all their muscles before we ask them to collect. Oh, oh, cause we want different things and I have to do with it. But it's not easy, so tell me how to let go. Cause you really seem to know how to carry on. Even though we've had Chino for seven months now, I swear they're still right at the beginning part of their journey. Like, they're still in a honeymoon period. They still really haven't learned each other and they still really are reserved with each other, I feel like. Even though they do all the things, I feel like they have never really, and Chino loves her and looks to her, I feel like they still haven't got that connection that, you know how she knows Storm's every single breath. She knows Storm's every movement. He knows her. I don't feel like her and Chino have that yet. Chino's back, you guys. He is back and ready to roll. Even though we don't have trails at this house, Sam made 
some little trails for the girls and they do tend to cool down on them all the time. He's not too bad. He's not even that hot. The sweat on his Yeah, but I've seen him worse. So it was really hot a little bit earlier, but we're supposed to get a storm. There's a small chance of a storm and the breeze is just picked right up and it's cool and gorgeous out here. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. So this is what cat, cat heaven looks like right now. Just one big huge mess. You guys are messy. But Lexi be growing. Such a cute girl. Aww. Aha. Uh -huh. There you are. You were hiding on me. Yes you were. Oh no princess. I'm not going to lie. I still worry that they're going to get stomped on by a uh, horse. Hendrix got kicked by a horse. I think Finn kicked him by mistake. And he was an adult cat raised around horses. So I gotta be su we gotta be super careful. Super careful with these cutie patooties. Yes, cutie baby. Gabby's gonna ride Finn too. We always give our horses the day off after a show. The weather is great so far. It's nice and breezy and cool. And Sophie and I are gonna run up and eat because we're starving. And the fastest way to get a vet here at your farm is to leave the barn. Go up to the house and start eating. Boom, they're there. So we have two eggs already. And this, whoa, I'm sorry, sorry. This beautiful girl is laying currently. And she's not too happy that I'm here. Isn't she so cute? And that one looks like she wants to lay because these eggs are cold. Gabby is schooling Finny today. The next big thing that Sophie's going to learn is to ride without a trainer. That's the last real thing. I may not get lessons this week because the heat is so super hot. Like it's gorgeous and breezy right now. But when the sun comes out, it is really hot and supposed to be hot all week. So I don't know if we're going to get lessons. Brandon's away as well. So who knows what will happen. So I need her to get out there. Like she could be schooling Finny right now. And I wish that she was. But it's the last thing you guys and we will get there before this summer is out we are going to get her up on that horse three times a week even without a trainer pulling out Finny and I'm still waiting for the vet and while I'm waiting I wanted to tell you guys something something I've been thinking about like crazy since my ride on the Pasofino horses essentially never before have I ever wanted a horse ever like even when I had Stella it just mostly felt overwhelming and just really hard for me because I lacked so much knowledge so much experience so much everything but then after I rode the Pasofino horses the other day I really got the feeling that I'm I'm ready for a horse like I'm ready I, I think I'm ready for a horse you guys like this is the first time in my life I ever wanted a horse I want a horse that I can take on trail rides like I want to do things my own way I want a horse that I can set my own rules I loved riding those pasofinos and when i sit in that saddle and i ride those pasofinos i do it all i get excited to race up hills and i i love it like i it brings out a whole different person in me and then i start thinking like all right laura if you're gonna get another horse if you're gonna get your own horse what kind of horse are you gonna get and i realize that i only feel comfortable and confident on those horses and i start asking myself why what what is it that makes you feel confident they're low to the ground horses. I need a short horse. I feel so much more comfortable being low to the ground. I don't like being up on other horses. And I don't like riding a skinny horse or a horse that's narrow. Like Storm doesn't look that narrow. He's a quarter horse, but he's kind of narrow compared to the way Stella was. I Stella was 15 one hand high. I loved riding her. And then I started thinking like, 
I loved not writing in a bit. A bit causes so much anxiety and a bit causes so much anxiety in me. When I rode that horse and I had a hackamore on, it was a totally different experience for me. I I want a horse that I can take for trail rides with my kids. I want a horse that I can ride around on and feel comfortable. I want a horse that I never have to put a bit in its mouth. I want my own horse that I can ride. So after narrowing down all the things that I need, I want a horse that I can ride without a bit. I want a horse that's low to the ground. I want a horse that's wide and that can carry me. I have gone back to my original very first love of a horse, which is the Gypsy Vanner horses. Like I think that that's what I want. I think that that's what I want. I, my dream horse, you guys, would be, my dream horse would be a Gypsy Vanner mare. I would love her to have a bald face. Yeah, that's it, you guys, that's my dream horse. And I started looking again, I've been looking and looking and I've been feeling obsessed and I think I'm ready. I contacted a couple of people. The only problem is, is that I definitely don't want a horse until we move. Like there will be no more buying of horses on this property. I just don't feel like there's enough room. But I'm ready, you guys. I I'm gonna get a horse. I told Sam I'm gonna get a horse. I've been contacting people. I'm gonna get a Gypsy Vanner mare. And I'm gonna ride her my way. I'm gonna ride her and make her my own. Yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys to be prepared. Watch for it, it's not gonna be soon. Don't send me 100 million messages in, in DM and say, when are you getting your horse? It's gonna happen. Oh, did I scare you? It's just not gonna happen yet, right this minute. But I'm looking, I'm actually looking. And who knows when it's gonna happen, but my dream horse is out there. Listen, I'm not a horse. Don't be thinking I'm in heat, cause I'm not. Don't be doing any funny business. I got no food, I got no treats. Go away. Gracie, the vet is coming to give you a shot. I used to stay up all night, trying to find my place. Chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace. To lead me out of darkness, give me a little faith. Something to make me stronger, someone who could light the way. Then you came to me and you gave me reason. Uh -uh 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 -uh. I almost can't believe. Touch, I feel at home. There's no way I'd ever let you go. When you put your hands in mine, no, I'm gonna be alright. I don't know what you do to me, but I feel like I am wake up in the sky. When you put your hands in mine, no, I'm gonna be alright. Cause when we touch, is when I really come alive. You put her down now. They sleep in the hay. Let's not kid ourselves. Oh, it's adorable. I want it. Let's see if they have a dog. Oh, these are cute. Molly would rip this in a minute. Yeah, I think they did have a dog, but these are sweet. Molly's not a big eater, so we're trying to find her good food that she will actually eat. It's Purina Pro. All right, so this is what we need right here. This is it. Mom, can I get like cookie one of these? We're gonna so get. You can get on my bed, but I can't anymore. <laughs> oh, that breaks my heart. I still think about. She wouldn't jump off of my bed. Yeah. And there's death on it or Poor cookie. All right, put it in there. Gabby likes to use shopping with Molly as training opportunities for her. She still barks when she sees other dogs. That's a big thing for us. 
So Toby cannot wear cloth diapers because he gets sore. So he gets stuck in his crate a lot. I want to get him something that he can wear that will absorb the pee better so that he can get out. I think cloth diapers, I mean, I think disposable diapers because it kind they kind of whisk the pee away whereas the cloth ones hold, you're wearing a wet thing. So these are the male ones and they only have one package, like they're a belly band. They only have one package and there's missing one when it's up to eight pounds and he's two pounds. So I kind of feel like two pounds, eight pounds, are they going to actually fit him? I found Toby diapers. He doesn't fit the size though. He doesn't fit the size, but I'm hoping I can fix it. Sophie's buying Frisbees. And this is what Molly needs, extra <laughs> tough. She likes these long things that she can drag they're, around. They're 99 cents each. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if you're not gonna use it. Mom, these hold I mean, those would be good for the water. These hold treats and then you can... Yeah, we have one of those. I know, but we have the big one. But look at this, this is so cool. And if you buy one, you get one half price. And they have a duck. She's already, she chews toys like crazy. I want this for That's me. so cool. Are you getting anything for her? No. Molly, your mom's a cheapskate. I am, I'm getting these for her. But your auntie is not. We'll get, um, I like the dollar store. I'm not cheap at the dollar store. Yeah, she's not cheap at the dollar store, you guys. I, I might get her some cheap. All right, let's go. All right, all I'm, I'm getting, getting all I'm getting are diapers and food. I told Gabby I'd pay for the food because it's almost a hundred bucks. You're getting your treats? You're getting treats. It's only $8.99, so we'll buy it. It's only $8.99, so she'll buy it. She picked the cheapest thing. She picked the cheapest thing, but she's not a cheapskate. Look there with the brown legs, brown and yellow legs. Let's see how not cheap Gabby is at the dollar store. It's four dollars. Oh, Sophie, you wanted the laser for your kittens. Oh yeah, should be. Look for that. Cat part. <laughs> That's cute. Are you gonna buy your kitten a toy? No. Um, every single time you roll it, it stays. Oh, Mom, Sophie you wants to get, get a pet tent. I have a teepee. Hannah, okay, this is kind of cool. Look at this. Look at this litter scoop. You scoop it up and then... No. And we'll see how Molly likes it. And Molly will Molly not fit in that. And if Molly doesn't like it, then the kittens. It's too... Yeah, the kittens will fit in it. Well, Beauty down. aisle. This is where Gab... Around. Yeah. See, if you're going the wrong way, you just turn around and walk backwards. Like you're going the and then suddenly you're going the right direction. That's what I do. Because you're just backing up. I know. And then you can go forward if you need to. All right. So that was our, that was our fun shopping for the week. Sometimes it's fun to just go to the dollar store and let loose. I got some super fun stuff. I've been shopping for homeschool already. This is designer paper. Isn't this so cool? It's so pretty. It's got like such pretty paper in there. Anyway, I have some crafts that I want the girls and I to do on the first day. The first day we always like try and make our books look nice and we... Have fun. Yeah, we have fun on the first day. Okay, can I introduce them to my puppies? Okay, so this is Bella. He's a cute little puppy. And then this is, um, he doesn't have a name yet, so comment down below. Comment down the below. Top. What no. you want to name him. Gabby, what was your claim to fame in that store? Oh, my favorite thing that I got. Yeah. Oh. This is my kind of chips. This is my favorite kind of chips. It's gold barbecue. And like literally no stores have them and I was shocked that the dollar store had them. She's taking them to Kaylee's with her because she's going to Kaylee's for the night, right? Uh-huh. Oh, I also got dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. okay. Sam, Sam's peaked, you see, you piqued dad's interest when he heard chocolate. So I also, uh, 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 I'm not done yet. I also got a dog bone for Molly and of course one for Ruby. I got them the same kind because we have to treat them equally. Molly likes hers. Ruby will probably like hers. I was debating whether to get Ruby her favorite kind, but her thing is so small that she likes, and this one's bigger and will last longer. And I'm like, make it fair. I also got this. It's dog treat. Oh. Dog bones in five different flavors. Thought that was cool. And then we got popcorn. 
I got popcorn too. I wasn't gonna get it even though I had my own it the whole time. But then I saw Gabby get it and I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna get it now. So I also bought this one, which is like, so one was blue and one is pink. I'm excited. Like this is fun paper. I follow a channel on YouTube that makes things out of paper. I got a bunch of books. I got some treats for our trainers for this week because they had them there. Fiona loves Reese's. If anybody wants to send Fiona anything send through Reese's. our P.O. box, then go ahead. Hashtag send Nick candy. Uh, Brandon, I got Skittles. I just got like a bunch of glue and markers and pens and pencils and glue sticks and I got these scrunchies because Gabby begged me to get them. She said they were cool. And then for Sophie, I got this replenishing detangling care. So I think it's like a spray in. Yeah, hopefully. Um, this is my favorite kind of shampoo. I, I buy this kind all the time. It's like the professional pro collection of Tresemme. And paint brushes because I've been really dying to finish painting our poles and I want to paint some tires now. That's it. That's all I got when I was there. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Don't you know that you're beautiful?